Epic intro music. Hello, Pennywars. Hello, Icon Pixie, and welcome back to part 28 of my Rohan campaign for Divide and Conquer version 5. Now, the last episode was actually huge. We lost Boromir. Boromir died, but of course, he's not actually one of Rohan. He's one of Gondor, of course. We got to show off a lot of the late game cab finally. I, of course, I did already show their unit cards off miles back, so the eagle eyed viewers will have spotted them ages ago. <laughs> we fought and defeated Sadok. We were following Sadok around the map for like, what, 10 episodes in the background? We weren't, I wasn't obviously dedicating much screen time to it, but he went on for a long time. We finally got him killed. We retook Western Osgiliath. But for now, we have to finish off Ened Wipe, so I'm going to use the movement up with Yule first, just wiping out a couple of stacks. We've basically been having a look around as a ballista, not much. And um, yeah, so we can't actually see what's in that army, what is in that army up there, but it can't be that much. Out, so let's get on with it. I've talked for enough. Okay, they've got two units of Jav Cav, one unit of Javelins. The Makani Tauta don't have missiles and the Fallon Border Guard don't either. So it should be a relatively decent clear up. I might do some cuts in these battles because we don't need to see every single one. Oh, and there was one more thing that I wanted to cover that I forgot. I was going to go over the the victory to loss stat. Um, that's one that I'm quite... Well, we're going to have quite a lot of fun with, basically, because you've seen a lot of this campaign now, and the it is an overwhelming um, victory to loss ratio. It's just brilliant. It's all paying off, basically. Um, and we've actually got a lot of... Um, Archer Cab as well. But yes, like I said, the eagle-eyed viewer will have already seen me shove it off before, and I did in the last episode a little bit, but basically the late-game cavalry archers look like Helmungus on horseback. They are pretty epic. They are pretty epic. And they've got the full-on metal shields with the, the red metal shields, basically. These guys don't actually have shields, look. But I think they all have axes. Anyway, let's get ahead. Let's go on ahead. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> right, you guys get in first and you guys go and harass. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we want to get the skirmish mode off on these guys. It is good. But we want it on with these guys. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so if you get over there, you just start doing your thing. We will try to eliminate the cavalry over here. Okay. And of course, since I just mentioned the other one, we can have a look at our other late game one again. Basically, the they are Riddermark Axemen on horseback. So, like the Riddermark Axemen, but even better. And they have their gold armor, which is fantastic, and giant axes. So, they're the shock cavalry. So, they're more for the cycle charging. Uh, we all know, of course, our elite bodyguard. That comes in every battle, pretty much. And the Eared Lancers. So, our first lance troop. Um, fearsome charge damage and great armor again too. They are like the spearmen on horseback, basically. Um, yeah, and the row here, you can just see they're more heavily armored than these guys. These are the standard armored guys, and these are the elite guys. So it's fun to have them, and they are fearsome. Already a little bit depleted, um, but we are getting more of them. And we will want to be plowing into the javelins. I do just want to spot where the javelins are okay so they should be dealing with that um it's not the most favorable engagement actually because their javelins will be more devastating so i might want to send someone at them but yeah you hit them um you go around and the only one we want to avoid straight away is the foul on board guard um Okay, you go that way. Good, that should absolutely crush them if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, then you go from the back, you hit them, 
And yeah, they're just crumbling. We will lose a few archers to these guys, but the riders of the fold should fairly hold up. Okay, I thought they were the Battle of Border Guard. No, so we want to charge them. Okay, they're already routing. The Battle of Border Guard are routing too. That's good. Okay, you get a different target. You hit them. If we can... Okay, so it's just their cav left now, basically, because that Tauta should... Okay. Get in, get in, get in. And you can see the... I'm used to having to sort of grind them down a little bit more. Um, okay, what are we doing here? Should we just charge the bandits in and the cell swords? Yeah. But yeah, I'm, what I was going to say is I'm used to having to grind them down a little bit more. But we're, of course, not really needing to do that. Because we have the late game cavalry, so it's doing a lot more damage, um, which is great. Okay, so that should all rout now, but we do want to stop everybody else shooting, though. Um, and I think, yeah, we'll stop all the cav archers shooting, too, and we'll turn skirmish off. Um, we don't really need to chase down. We'll never catch the ca escaping cavalry anyway. We will chase them down, but that is battle over. I might cut the minute at the end of this. Where we just basically kill off the ones who are running away. Uh, and we've killed 97%, so I'm fairly sure that they can try to kill the, stop the cavalry escaping. But I'm pretty sure that's enough to delete the army anyway. Yep, and we caught the captain anyway. Good. And yep, we will end there. The victory, we have won here that today. was a great battle. Riddermark Cavalry 117, they are the Axemen. Fantastic. If we can get enough of those late game cavalry on the Mordor front, we will have an easy time in the field for sure. But they do take three turns to recruit, and you have to wait a certain amount of turns before recruiting the next one. So what you need to do, basically, is have the upgraded stables in a whole bunch of settlements. And you basically build a load at the same time, which is quite challenging to do. So that is one that is one bonus of playing the game for this long, is that you will start to see... It will pay off. The rewards will come when we have such fearsome armies in the late game. So we're going to see how much movement we have left with him. And then basically see what we're going to do. Uh, we can come back and kill one of these guys. And we've also got Leothan here. That is Iama's first son. So he is going to be taking what he can out of Suduri once he's sorted it out. And also to note, we still, we've still got three lots of Drew Dane coming in as well, which is good. So yeah, there's a lot to talk about in this one. Oh yes, the thing I kept saying that I haven't done. I'll probably cover it at the start of the next one too. Because I feel like these things split really fun to do at the beginning so look we have 136 battles played look and 131 of those won and only five of the 136 battles have been lost so there's obviously small things that we could have fine-tuned but i can't be doing too much better than i have been <laughs> that is fantastic okay so i'm very very happy with that and now we're gonna go and clear these guys up i will probably cut it and speed it up. So yeah, coming in with 61 of each of them and going out with 23 in one of the units is actually pretty poor. I was expecting them to hold up in the combat better than that. I know that the Jav Cav is anti-cavalry, but I still, once I'd actually caught up to them, I expected them to trash them. And they did, but they also lost a lot of men, which I didn't expect. Some of them will have replenished, though, so we'll see how many we're left with. Okay, so we shall indeed end the turn. So Gondor have won a fight on the end turn, and they are sieging down the fort oh no they've taken the fort in one turn good work gondor they've got a lot of forces on the other side of the river now i'm very happy with that and they should send some troops down south too and um, because obviously their southern border is under attack as well 
but hopefully that is enough forces up there to support us while our reinforcements are heading over. We'll see what Mordor do, but I'm very, very happy with that. The dwarves still valiantly, valiantly defending Erebor. Now, Enid, oh, Enid White didn't attack us. I was expecting them to attack. Royal Pole Turners Guild. Brilliant. This basically better quality swords and axes look. So that will upgrade the weapons of everybody recruited in Westos Giliath. So we definitely want that. Khan Derm under siege, which is brilliant. And Dale have declared war on the Snow Orcs, which is great. Because that will be extra armies fighting the Snow Orcs when they try to take Erebor. We have got the Great Market built of Edoras, the Mines built at Byrig, the City Upgrade for Gamling, the Mason's Guild House for Londair, and the Meeting Hall for Western Ross Gilead. And the Standing Stone should already be being produced, yes. And then we will either go for the Great Hall or the Militia Garrison. And we want to retrain everything we can and also recruit everything we can. We want basically a million, million, million soldiers in West Ross Gilead. Okay, so East Osgiliath is being heavily fortified, so I might wait for them to move out and attack us or fight us on the bridge or something, but it's not going to be a favourable engagement to throw the cavalry at that with the Witch King leading it. One guy left to t le uh, lived to this tell the... No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Poor guy. Under the red beam. <laughs> Okay, so we've moved our armies on the N and Y front. That is now nicely held down. Okay, so we're going to end the turn again already. Yep, they're piling all the troops into Eastern Osgilia, but they're not attacking us, which is good. Okay, so um, it looks like Forlond has fallen to the RRD9. Okay, Horse Breeders Guild at Byrig. Okay, so we definitely want that. We definitely want that. That's more late game Cav for... Uh, he's called Sexberg. Brilliant. Okay, so we have the Royal Hall built at Barad Vin, the Standing Stones built at Westos Gilead, the Tomb repaired at Suduri, and the Grain Exchange repaired at Suduri too. So what could we build here now? Okay, so we don't have enough culture yet, but that... I think I'm going to risk the tomb first. Yeah, and we're going to retrain what we can. So I'm going to go around and I'm just going to retrain everybody that's retrainable. Ooh, Karas we can upgrade. I'll get going on that. And we will be needing the tomb at Gambling for the same reason as we got the Hero Shrine down here at Londan Grem to get the legends out of the settlements. <laughs> And this one will take a massive hit too, because the I'm sure that Theodred is giving it a ton of bonuses to the economy too. Uh, leather Worker does give us a tiny bit of income too, so I will just get the Leather Worker. Uh, and then we will start moving all of the troops. Okay, so the cavalry is finished. Let's get them there. In your name, my lord. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave these guys here so that when they assault the settlement, we're going to have reinforcing cavalry coming from behind them. That is definitely good. And these guys can't reach, but on the next turn they can reach. It'd be good to give those guys a commander too, but we have to kind of work with what we've got. Um, might as well just send those guys as well, because they're going to be the garrison at Farbad on the turn after we defeat them. Okay, so over here we are going to send all the cavalry to attack Captain Gormadot. Let's just see how that goes. All of the infantry back here and all of the cavalry here. Okay, good. So we can basically, this is what we want. We need to get this guy killed so that they don't reinforce Bregost, because if we only have to assault a really small force, we'll have an easy time. Kill these guys so we don't have to kill them in the settlement. So, so that's all really, really easy stuff to take down with the cavalry. We just have to avoid the javelins a little bit. We're going to move them all straight away, so it doesn't really matter. Right, okay. We should outrange their javelins, so should be alright to be using the missile cav. And we will fast forward time until we spot them. Hopefully they are probably hiding in the forest again. 
and the camera does not allow me to move closer. Until my troops do. Okay, so we can see some skirmishes. So we only want to shoot them from... We don't want to go too close. We want to just shoot them from where we can hit them. Um, so we've got the skirmishers, skirmishers, where? Oh, th I don't know where their third unit is. Going to get the cab over there. Okay, that looks like all three of them. Okay. Yep, so we're going to shoot them from there because they shouldn't be able to hit us. It's so hard finding our units. <laughs> okay, um, now we do probably want to close in. And I think I will try to skirmish manually. Because it, they'll wait till the javelins are in range before they run away. Basically. Okay, and honestly, I don't want the throwing javelins at us while we're mashing them up. Um, we could try to hold off and let the archers do more of the work. If they want to charge at us, that's fine. Okay, so skirmish manually. Come on. Don't, can't even see them. Yes, yeah, so they basically run back to hide. See, now they are firing. Okay, so we want to just move back slightly. We're honestly not doing tons of damage, so I might just I'm just going to charge into the back of them. They don't have any anti-cav. Um, yeah, let's just hit them with basically all of these guys, and then hopefully these two late game, slightly heftier units can hit them. Hopefully they will kind of separate a little bit when we get close. And hopefully we can take them off guard a little bit. And actually, if they're going to separate like that, we'll just move to the skirmishers. Because that's perfect, because these don't have javelins, so the archers can just shoot them and skirmish. And our cav can deal with all of this. Okay, we're just going to charge all of these guys in to to this one because the other guys they've run off a little bit okay as soon as they route we want to hit the others okay but we'll be taking a few javelins over here I was expecting for a more devastating charge. Okay. Um, keep shooting them.
It's working, but they're putting up more fight than I was expecting. As soon as their captain goes down, though, they will definitely route. Uh, these guys, I'm so surprised they're not routing. Six, fifteen. Okay, they are now. Okay, good. Now we'll send everybody else into the skirmishers. They should route. Yep. So the yeah, perfect. Already killed 80%. Let's just speed it up. Good. Okay. Uh, that'll be that'll do for me. Only 10 lost. Good. See, that was actually showcasing the cavalry better than the time I actually tried to show it off. Um, because they only lost 10 men on that one. Okay, so I kind of do want to siege them down, hoping that they will sally or send to something else at me. Yeah, we can't hit him on that turn, so I'm going to put them in the middle. And see what they've got in there. Okay, so they do have a general in there. A standard bodyguard general, two units of cav and an archer unit, so that shouldn't really help. It's all weak to cavalry, really. I mean, the jav cav is technically strong against cavalry, but we'll deal with it. And we'll just head north, see if there's anything else up there, but we probably have nothing to worry about. Okay, so they've got wall. Okay, that is a full stack, but we should already have Bregost under our control by the time that arrives. So I've just ended the turn. We'll see what happens. Gondor didn't really do anything. I think we got them at a nice stalemate. They'll be building forces up while we're building forces up too, though. That's the only issue. Okay, so they didn't attack again, which is good. Okay, Mithlon in ruins. That means it has definitely fallen to the R. Ardenheim. That's the High Elven capital, fallen. Okay, so suitable husband. Um, we will still be getting everybody because we need governors everywhere. R. Ardenheim reigns supreme. So they're obviously doing very well now they've got Mithlond. And I will be picking up the guard barracks at Edoras just so that we can quickly build a late game infantry army if we so wish to do that. Lord's Hall at Londaire next. And then the Levitana at Suduri, and that spends all the money again. Okay, it's Ian's brother. Oh no, brother-in-law. Brother-in-law, okay. So we're going to start sending Ian's new brother-in-law over to this. Uh, basically, hopefully, can garrison something. We'll try to get uh, either Theodred or Lyonet out. But we are going to go ahead with the oh. Siege of Bregos to end the episode. Okay. So we still have to find a decent guy, but it should be easy enough. Should we? What have we got in that guy's army? Okay, it's not quite showing us the army now, but we know it's mostly infantry. I feel like I will let the AI control that one, just because it's not a huge... Oh, they have got an extra garrison. Okay, so there's a lot starting over here. Um, don't think much missile units. They've got some javelins, of course. Um... Let's see if we can... Yeah, it's quite a small settlement, though. Uh, let's start moving the ram to this gate, though. So they're taking some of it back to the town square. So this gate is undefended currently. So we do want to get the ram, but I can't get the camera angle on it. There. There. Okay, good. They should send something over now. They are. It's only a unit of Westron defenders, though. Okay, if we can get some of them in before they turn up, we can surround them. Don't really think that'll be possible, but we can try it. Um, infantry, 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 okay. Okay, so it's just the cell swords and the bandits. So if we could try to run the cell swords in over there, uh, not them, sorry. And get them over there. I 
which would be nice to get them in. There's not tons to get in, and this army is now moving on this gate, so... Okay, you get over there, and then you get over there. The cell swords should do a good job. And then if we can get all the, if we can hold them far enough from the gate to get all the archers in, that'll be good too. Okay, they're sending some what looks like cavalry down. Should be fine because we have the reinforcing army. We'll let the archers do. We'll let the archers basically do everything for the moment. Okay, and then these guys are all going to be coming in. Ooh. And that's quite funny because that's also his name. Ah. Okay, that should be enough to deal with this. Can we shoot the cavalry? I'd rather shoot that, to be honest. And then charge at these guys with the infantry, and then everything else pouring in will mess them up as well. Good, we've got some Sauron mercenaries coming in to assist. You're going to have to send the cell swords at them, but if they're locked in melee, it should be fine. I think that's two units of Jav Cav, but we should deal with it. With this stuff assisting. Okay, they have wiped out the cell swords. Oh, not actually looking too good. <laughs> okay, that should start whittling them down. Let's move targets back to these guys for a bit. Okay, they're running the troops through, which is a little bit stupid, but instead of just dealing with what's here, I'm not that's a bit annoying. Um, and then that is the, oh, that's the Clan Herald, so that means these guys over here are the archers, yes. So we need to start breaking down this gate on this side now, so we can start piling in the cavalry. Uh, but I think we're going to have to take the cavalry around anyway because they are kind of covering it. Yeah, I'm taking the cavalry round this side. Because I can't get the cavalry through a gate full of spears, and the AI are just completely being stupid. I shouldn't have let the AI control the other army, because they're just pulling all their troops through. They're all going to die. They should be dealing with what's at the gate first. Let's get Yule in, because there's only a few of them. He should be able to finish them off himself. And they're shooting at them, so they should get in the way. Uh, peasant scouts can get in too.
Okay, and once all the Peasant Scouts are in, we will charge them at the Westron Defenders. They should be going down now to, to Saralan Mercenaries. Yes, uh, the Allies have probably gotten all killed, which is a little bit annoying, but what can we do? You guys get in. Oh, okay, there's Dwarven Travelers right in their face, okay. Uh, we'll get the guy around there. Okay, Westron defenders we don't really want to deal with because we're bringing the cav in. Uh, we will get some Eared Lancers, the depleted Eared Lancers over here. And then there's the ooh, two Fulani Herders and the Clan Heralds there. Okay. And we'll try to whittle the archers down with these guys. Good. <laughs> the rams got in on that side. We don't need them anymore. Uh, but we'll just send these axes in. What have we left outside the settlement anyway? Um, oh, more two units of axemen. Okay. We'll get that axemen in. I didn't really know. Okay. Drop the ram, you idiot. Okay, you get in too now then. Oh, it's so annoying when the AI is using the archers in melee. <laughs> we should still mash them up though. Yeah, look at that. We've t the, at least they've taken the town square. Oh, they are killing the general. We do want to get him some backup, though. Uh, get those axes in quickly. Because like that's still their general. At least it's not a named general. It's just um, a cavalry guy. Okay, we'll get them down. Out, out, I mean. We're not charging these guys into the spears. They seem perfectly happy doing that, though. <laughs> now, you are going to... Honestly, you're just going to... Just kill the archers. Just kill the archers. And then you go for the general. Oh, you go for the general. Good. Now you guys finish off the general. You guys are going to have to get over there, I'm afraid. And that's basically battle one. Good. And we've killed him. Okay, it's just uh, routing this one unit here, which shouldn't be too bad now. Oh, they're firing, that's good. So firing right We've into the backs. The the lost control of the city to what? Oh, because we walked out of it. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, well, we don't need to do that then. We're not going to hold it for 12 We've minutes, so let's just run down here then. We've lost control of the city. OK, 
Okay, they should route. I don't know why they haven't routed. Honestly. Uh, we're going to charge these guys into because the second they route, we're ending the battle, minimizing the casualties of the lost. Uh, and now they're already wavering, look. Oh, no, back up to Shaken. Come on, yes. This is a clear victory. So another settlement captured and the episode ending there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.